Oops. Ta-da! It's done! It's so cool! That doesn't really spin on the shelf. It spins on the table. <laughs> that took a little bit of time. Those are all the leftover pieces. Hang on to these for future projects. Timu, Amazon, Wish. I wonder if any of these places sell a sign that says intervention. Hi, my name is Jamie and I am a Timu addict. It has been 14 days since my last shipment. It has been zero days since my last shipment. Marshall, this is an intervention. Okay, I was going to film this outside, but it's um, hot. Just sitting out there making the list of what I bought and how much everything was. Uh, I'm sweaty, so we're going to move this party inside. Okay, I'm going to start with something that was just for fun. Colorful hair extensions. Look at that. I had to cut it, and I will show you why in a second. They are 22 inch long hair extensions. They're just clip in, and I ordered a bunch in like three colors. They were 44 cents each for each clip. Um, and they're all ombre. Um, and I still think they're just a little too long. I think I need to cut them a little, and I think I need to cut them a little more ragged because it's like too. Um, but this one is like a bl uh, purple to a blue, or a dark blue to a light blue, and I cut off a good, a, a good portion of it. I'll show you a regular one, but I want to show you how they came in the package. They're tied in a knot. Okay, so, so I've got this dark blue to a brighter blue, and you see how long they are? That's way too long. If I clip it in up here, that's how long they actually are compared to the other ones. Too long. Wait, this angle works. So these are like a like a darker, almost like a uh, like a pink, almost like a pink and brown mix, and it goes down into a pink. So I will have to cut it about here, maybe a little bit further, like about here in order for it to be the length that I need it for my hair. Actually, probably a little higher. But I got six of each. So I got that, I got the, the dark blue into the light blue, and then I got the purple into the light blue. And I got six of each. Like I said, they were 44 cents each. I just, it's just, it was just for fun. I like the, I like the little bit of color. And I think once I get the bottom cut, the way I want it cut, so it's not just such a straight chop like that, I think they'll look better. I think they're fun. I also tested them with the um, the piece that I cut off. I tested on the straightener, because they're already really straight, and I'm like, well, I've got some curl to my hair. Can I curl it? Um, and, you know, when you twist the straightener, you can get a curl. It worked, and they did not burn, but I'm not sure, like, how high of a temperature they can actually withstand. But I've heard on a lot of these things, you can put them in a straightener or put them in a curling iron. I think you just got to watch your temperature. Okay. There are a lot of items in this little bag. I believe the final count is 38, but 18 of them were these things. So, and a couple of things I ordered, I had them in my cart in like two different versions and I ended up buying both, which is fine. It's not that big a deal. All right, these were a last minute addition because I was working on our countdown calendar and I ran out of Velcro and so I threw this in the cart and then Ethan went and bought more Velcro anyway. So we have these for future projects. Um, they are Velcro dots. So you've got your your dot, your um, 
These are the soft side, and then these are the pokey side. So that is 500 Velcro dots, and it was 500 and $5.68 $5 for those. But that was kind of like a last minute addition to the cart. Once you place your order on Timu, you've got like 24 hours, or as I found out, more like 36 hours to add to your order. Um, and you can just do add-ons. So that's what that was. That was one of my add-ons. Um, this was a, just a little fun thing. It was because it looks like something. And hopefully they fit me the right color. <gasps> they did. Oh my God, and it comes with batteries. It is a little mini LED light. Oh, it's got vel um, a sticker with really soft stuff on for on the back. You should recognize this guy as soon as I bring him out. No, he doesn't turn that way. He can't look at you. He can't if I do this. That is adorable. Look how cute he is. Why is that clip there? Why do you have a clip? It doesn't say. It just says LED light. Mini table lamp series. Um... But he, he looks like the little guy from Pixar. And so I thought he was so cute. How do you, where do you put the batteries? Oh, what's this? Why is there a little tab thing? Is that so you know where to put the batteries? <gasps> I just broke it. Okay, that little tab came out. Does he already have batteries? He already has batteries and they gave me more batteries? Oh my God! Wait, hang on. It's crooked. Get, get back together. Whoops. Uh-oh. Huh. Oh, come on. Get back together. What is wrong with you? All right, relax. Hang on. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, my God. Look it. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But oh my God, I, I just, I couldn't help it because he was so, he was so Pixar. I thought he was adorable. All right, well, I'll put his little felt thing on the bottom so I don't lose it because, you know, there's about to be a pile of crap here. And then um, he'll have to find a spot on a, on a desk or a shelf or something. Oh, he's so friggin' cute. I can't believe they gave me six batteries. Wow. This little cutie patootie was $2.78. And yeah, he's friggin' useless, but he's adorable. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I need to calm down. We got a long way to go. All right, let me put that away. Let's make a garbage pile. All right. Let's pull this out. Okay, here. This says vacuum cleaner. Desktop vacuum cleaner. Aspiration is smooth. So this is one of those little... Cause now that I'm doing more stuff with my nails and I'm actually using the drill and stuff, I keep ending up with all kinds of dust on my desk. They did not give me batteries for this one. What does he take? Oh, I got a little cleaner to clean them out. I don't know why that got me excited. Uh, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Open the vacuum cleaner and install two number five dry batteries. What the heck is a number five dry battery? It doesn't seem to go in that side. How do you open it? Press both sides at the same time. Press what both sides at the same time? What are you talking about, Timu? I don't know how to open this. Ethan's not here right now. If Ethan was here, he'd do this for me. Open the upper cover of the vacuum cleaner. Pay attention not to reverse the positive and negative poles. Okay, I'll try not to. Okay, I can only get the bottom off. Oh, it just pulls off. Okay, that would be double A's. 
It takes double A's. I have those. All right, I'm going to get back to this. I want to see what else is in the bag. And the batteries are over there. But I don't feel like getting up right now. So. Oh, my. All right. We'll deal with that one later. But that was to clean up the dust when I do my nails. I made a garbage pile, and then I didn't like where I put the garbage pile. Okay. Oh, these are cute. I saw these. Somebody else ordered these. I can't remember who it was. But these are so cute. This is a display case. And it is a suspension display case. And what it does... Hear that? <gasps> Ethan's home! Hang on! Okay, let's ignore him. He's coming in and out with groceries. So this is a display case and what it is is it's two pieces of almost like cling wrap it's very it feels very delicate but i don't think it is as delicate as i think because you can sandwich stuff in between here and it like molds to the shape and then there's a little stand and you can actually stand up so it's like a, a jewelry display box or uh i'm sure ethan will put a mini lego figure in here in like three seconds of finding out i bought these and I bought two different sizes. Where's the other one? Here's the little one. Um, I got two different sizes. But somebody said she used them to take her jewelry on vacation. So she just sandwiched her jewelry in here. Um, but you have to listen to this because this, I think, is such a satisfying sound. Except Ethan's making noise. Hold on. Satisfying sounds of Ethan putting away gross. Well, yes, we have satisfying sounds at home. Did you hear that? That's so cool. So you can take stuff and you can put it in here. And I don't have anything small enough in front of me. Of course. Hang on. I do. Oh. My earbuds. Let's take these out. Let's put these in. See that? Isn't that cool? So now, where did I put my earbuds? Oh yeah, they're on display. Isn't that cool? I thought those were kind of neat, so I had to buy a couple of those. Um, since they're out in the video, these are the um, $12 iJoy earbuds that I got from, um, I think we were at, oh no, we were at Pop Shelf. That's where we were at. Um, they're good. They hold their charge, which is way more than the ones he got from Target did. Um, they're not as good as the $5 ones that I got from Timo, which are actually at my work because I use those. I have those in my ears almost all day. Um, these are the big round ones. And these do start to bother my ears after a little while. Um, where the ones from Timu are more of a, they're not bean shaped, but they're like a, um, a, a Mike and Ike. They're like a Mike and Ike shape. And they don't bother my ears. Um, so yeah, so back to this haul. I got these two cases that I thought were just so cool. This is what happens when I watch other people's videos. I end up ordering the stuff they ordered. And, oh my, he bought four, three cases of water. Holy cow. Okay. You, you do you, babe. All right. I want to pull out, I want to find the other one. This is something that I, oh, I didn't tell you anything about those, did I? Um, where are they on my list? Oh, the suspension displays. Uh, the little one was $1.49 and the big one was $1.79. So super cheap for what I got there. I'm trying to find the other one of this because I ordered two of the same thing, but two different. All right, we're going to skip it until I can find it. Okay, let's do this one. We'll do this one. He's making all kinds of noises today. 
This is a little brush holder. And there's a little like a mixing spot and a mixing spot. It can be for art or it can be for nails or it can be for whatever whatever else you use for you maybe like pens. Like I don't know, maybe you're mixing ink or something. I don't know. I just thought it was so cool and it was bright pink and so I had to have it. It's actually and it's got glitter too. I didn't really see it too well. But it's glittery. Okay. Next. This is a nail file set. This is another one of the things that I saw on whoever. Do you remember that lady's name that we were watching? The lady who ordered like a thousand dollars worth of team Boo stuff. Oh, it was long hair, pretty nails. Oh, is that her yeah. channel? Long hair, pretty nails. Okay, I just know her when I see her. Um, so this is a set of eight different nails, nail files, and like that's a thousand, four thousand, and. That one's 100, 180. So each side is a different grit. Uh, 880, 100. Because you need different grits to do different things. And they say washable and disinfectable. So there's a whole bunch of 150, 240, 120, 180. So I just thought that was kind of neat. So I have a like a little holographic mug, and that's where my files go. So that feels will go. Those will sit in there. I'll put them back in the box right now. Okay. I'm very hot. It's very hot to get things in the mail. Okay, I found it. All right. So this was. Did I say how much those were? No. Why do I keep doing that? Nail files. Eight piece nail file. $3.59. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. These are... Way too self-aware of this streak in my hair. Um, these are not very different at all. Interesting. Okay, so another thing that I saw people using on nail videos was micro um, Q-tips, for lack of a better word. And that's what these are. And can I open this? Yes. And I had never seen these before. And I was like, holy cow. And yeah, it's not cotton. It's um, probably not going to be able to see that too well. But it's like a clothy material. Um, and they're on plastic sticks and it's to do like the little, the little cleanup. I thought that's perfect. Cause I always have the hardest time with, with doing the cleanup close to the color. So I thought, oh, that's going to be really cool. So I put them in my cart in one color and then saw another color that I liked better and forgot to take the first ones out. So first I put in pink and then I found crystal rose. So now I have 200 of these. Which sounds about right. When you say, babe, I think I need to cut this just a little bit more. It's driving me crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it needs, it needs to be tapered and cut. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, next. I'm very excited about this one. Because... Man, he makes noise. The longer my nails get, the harder it is to get my contact lenses out of my eyeballs. Getting them in is easy. Getting them out is impossible. So this is a little suction cup for getting contact lenses out of your eyes. I had no idea they even made these. I don't know if it'll work. I don't even have my contacts in today. There goes Ethan in the background. And... That's nice. I wondered how I was supposed to like store it and keep it and stuff. It comes in a little vial. So that's nice. So you can clean it and then put it away. Um, but I thought that would really help because I've scratched my eyes so many times it's not even funny. So we're going to try that. It gets to the point where my contacts get too long and I have to actually use these two fingers to get the contact out because I can't do that anymore. Um... Not telling you prices. 
Okay, so since he was bugging me, I had him get me batteries so that I could put them in my little pink cleaner. It works! Now I can finally clean up all my nail dust. Okay, speaking of nail dust, well, not really dust, but more nail stuff. This is um, a clipper to cut off, like when you put on tips, it cuts them off like that. And here are tips. And I know I said I was going to look up prices on that last stuff and I forgot. The suspension displays were $149 and $179. The micro applicators, the pink was $199. The, ro the crystal rose was $249. Um, the, what else did I not say? These are the nail tips that I got. They're like little partial tips to glue on. Um, this was, I don't know how many are in this set. A lot. Did I write it down? Oh, the silicone contact lens remover was 79 cents. Uh, the clippers was two twenty four. Short nail tips was three fourteen, and it says short, but to me these are. I think they're going to be kind of long. Here, hang on, I got I got I have a short pinky. Because I keep breaking. Yeah, that's. That's kind of long. There's one of my real nails. Well, I guess it's about the same. So I might not need to cut anything. I might just be able to just put these on. We'll see. Okay. There's the nail clippers. Um, one of the other things that I've been doing is I've been, like, this thumbnail isn't my nail. I, I have two breaks, one on each side, really high up. I have a lot of breaks right now. They're really bad. Um, so that is actually formed using a uh, polymer with the form on top. And keeping those on while you try to cure them is really difficult. So I got these clips that are made to do that. It keeps it so that air bubbles, thank you. So air bubbles don't form. It holds that on. Um, so it was a set of five of these little clips. I got them in clear, so they must not have come in pink. Um, so these five-piece clips, that was 78 cents. So I got that. It makes noise. Then. Okay, good. I thought I screwed up, but I did not. Um, these are silicone. I don't know what you would call them. But they're silicone so that you can, like, form the nails or, and, and it was just different shapes. They had, like, five different choices. So I picked two. And I think this was one of those where I put this one in my cart and then discovered that there was pink. And I got lucky that they're all different shapes. So I thought that was kind of cool. But, um... Yeah, it's to help form when you're using the polymer gel. I don't know. I thought they were cool. And they were, are they the same price? Where are they on my list? Uh, I don't see them on my list. Oh, they were 89 cents each. And the listing was really weird. I couldn't tell if it was a five-piece set or a one-piece thing. Um, it was a one-piece thing, but they had five different versions. So I was like, not sure for a while there if I bought the same thing five times or not. The answer is not. It's probably three more tips than I need. Speaking of tips, more tips than I need. This is a dual-sided magnet for doing magnetic polishes. So you've got a four prongy thing there and you've got uh, like a flower thing there. So I thought that was kind of cool. 
I hadn't seen anything like that before. Um, that was 88 cents. It was almost like I was shopping at the dollar store, but it was Timu. And then this one, I saw this one on somebody's video. It's a pen. It's a magnetic pen to use for doing the, uh, for doing magnetic nail polish. And that was 48 cents. I was like, holy cow. So I grabbed both of those. And lots of nail stuff. Continuing in the nail stuff. I have three more items, two are nail things. This is a mini UV lamp, and I actually went back and forth between pink and purple and ended up on purple. This is where you put your finger in like that, and there were so many times in the big lamp that I'm like, I, I only need to cure one finger or I need to cure my just my thumb, and I can't get it in the big lamp like the way I want to and I thought well this is perfect because you can just hold this and there it is I also thought and I forgot about the clips that I just bought but if I had to hold um, a nail form on like that I could hold the nail form out here and it could still be cured so it's a little crown it's got six little LED things on top it's a USB-C and it comes with a, with a USB C cord. So I thought that was cute and I thought that was going to be really useful. And that was $2.68. Um, one more nail product. I don't know if this is bull or if this is actual, but it is Magic Nail Polish Gel Remover. And this is that stuff that makes the polish like burst. And it says three to five minutes. Professional nail pro product remover removes soak off gel polish oh thank god because that's what I'm wearing um yeah so this is oh my god everything's in English ha, I bought the one thing from Timu that's in English what did you just bring over here we have wishery tech oh god now he has wishery tech why do you have a solar panel it's three dollars you bought a three dollar solar it's panel it's supposed to charge your cell phone or whatever like okay it's got a regular... It's, it's, it's very $3. <laughs> okay. Well, we can try that. You know, I thought it was a coming apocalypse, you know. That probably... Options. And we do live in Florida. This is the place to... So we're going to play with this. And then we're going to play with his, too, because that is really cool. All right, last item. Fourteen sixty nine. I bought a dress. Not just any dress. Dress to wear on a cruise ship. So that is the front. That is the back. And let's put it on. One, that one strap's a little loose, but I can fix that. All right, let's see what the full thing looks like. What do you think? Looking good. How does it look? It's got pockets. Women love dresses with pockets. Should I turn around the other one? I will turn around with the understanding of people that my underwear is darker than this dress. How is it? I'll wear Spanx. Okay, we broke for lunch. Now I'm back and I'm in the nail area and I was reading the directions on this box um, and it says to file off the top layer um, and then apply the magic remover to the polish underneath and that it takes like three to five minutes. So we're going to give this a whirl and um, see what we get. Good thing I bought all those nail files, right? Okay.
Oh, yeah. That works. Okay. Okay, this stuff is thick and gloppy. No smell. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's definitely doing something. Because I can see weird sparkly. I'm trying to figure out if I can feel anything. That's definitely breaking it up. Oh, that is cool. Cool. I wonder what would happen if I didn't file it first. I also can't remember if I'm wearing gel top coat or just regular top coat. I think it's gel. That is so cool. Look at that. How do you get it off then? What do you do? Just wipe it or do you have to use polish remover? Lightly file off top coat to allow the gel to penetrate into the nail polish gel. Apply remover on nails. The more layers your nail gel, the more nail remover needed to apply. Leave on five to eight minutes. Remove loose pop loose nail polish. Wash your hands. Pay attention to skin surrounding your nails. Nail surface only for external use only. Okay, now I'm scared. Where's my scraper? Here, here's a scraper. Holy cow! Holy cow! I, I am totally in shock. I would have bet this was a scam. I... Did not expect that. That was fast. And just remove the rest with nail polish remover. Whoa! All right, we got to try one without scratching anything first. And I'm almost positive I've got gel on. For the top coat, I can't remember. Also, I've had these on for like... Uh, 10 days or something. All right, I'm going to try and get in really close. Because it's working. That is amazing. Look at it go. Holy... Toledo. Huh. Oh, I'm a happy camper. If I don't, as long as I don't have an allergic reaction to this stuff, I am a really happy camper. There, I just want to touch that other nail. Okay. Wow. Look at that. And I am not pushing hard. I am just rubbing this over the surface of the nail. Very, very gently. A couple of spots where it's still clinging a little bit. That is absolutely incredible. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Wow. I know I'm shaking the camera. I'm sorry. That is amazing. 